This is a quick video over just some of the parts of the axon, axon of a nerve cell. So here we have the axon and it goes a good long distance. And there are repeating units in it. The first thing we want to focus on is the myelin, myelin sheath. Jeez. And what they are, if I zoomed in, they are just multiple membranes wrapped around each other. So if you could think of it, they would just come around and wrap around. That's all they do, they just wrap around it. So this is like a tube, and they're wrapping around that tube. And in a previous video, I explained the importance of them. They increase the distance that the electropotential can travel. Now, electropotential is instantaneous. It can it can reach very far, but the effects of it are they die out really quickly. So they increase the distance that the electrotonic can have a, a reasonable effect on. And that's all they're really there for. It's just to increase the electrotonic's uh, potential or the difference that potential can travel or have a greater effect over. So that is the electro that is what the myelin sheets are. The next part are these gaps. You see there are these gaps every so far distances and they are the these are the nodes nodes of Ranvia Via or Ranvier but Ranvia I, I believe it's French or something but they are the nodes of Ranvier and they are just they they were they are where all these sodium and, and potassium channels are. All the sodium potassium channels are stuck in these little areas. So these are the areas where you can only have an action potential. You can only have an action potential in these areas in the nodes of Ranvier. You cannot have an action potential where there is a myelin sheath. You cannot. So you can't have an action potential here. You can only have it there, there, and there and also there. So that is what the the myelin sheath saw and the nodes of Renvia are. They are just myelin sheaths are just membranes wrapped around membranes. Usually it's another it's usually another cell that comes around and wraps around the axon and it just allows it allows the uh, action potential to have a greater effect farther away. In the next video, I'll actually go through a signal being sent down, sent down the uh, axon.